Now the Shadow Trade and Tourism Minister Kevin Hogan. Brief chat uh, today, Kevin. We've got this emergency that's gripping Victoria and New South Wales. I do want to ask you about uh, emissions and, uh, and how that affects the agriculture industry. Keith Pitt yesterday referred to it as a T-bone tax. Should the Labor Party uh, sign up to Biden's pledge? Absolutely not, Pete. They said before the election they wouldn't sign up to this pledge. And now, again, after the election, they're changing their tune like they have on a few things. We always talk in politics, Pete, about what is the barbecue stopper. That is, what is the issue that people stop and talk about when they're together at something like a barbecue. But this is literally a barbecue stopper. Um, what they will do, what if we are, well, the technology isn't there yet. Um, we're doing things like, you know, seaweed feed and all, all sorts of things to try and lower methane emissions. But the technology is there to do this so there's only two ways that you can cut methane by 30 percent in the time that they're talking that is you put a tax on cows like we saw from the New Zealand government or you literally have to start destocking um, the either way that, that what happens is the price of meat and, and sheep meat red meat is going to go up and that obviously isn't good for everyday Australians when we see as you've just alluded to with interest rates and inflation's going up you've got energy bills going up and now labor look like they want the price of food and meat to go up well, we had the National Farmers Federation on the program this hour, Kevin, and uh, they have been given assurances by the government that the industry won't be affected. Tony Ma is not at all worried about it because of those assurances that have been given to him. He says the technology and, uh, and what have you uh, is helping the industry. Those, some of those items that you were talking about when it comes to feed is helping to lower emissions anyway. So are you pardon the pun, overcooking it. Well, Pete, what I'd say is if it's a pledge isn't important and doesn't mean anything, why are you signing it? If a pledge doesn't mean anything when the Labor government signed this, then why are they signing it anyway? But the important distinction here is Labor said before the election they wouldn't sign up to this pledge. And again, you know, seven months after the election, they're changing their mind on it. So, look, when I've seen what we've seen, the ramifications of when countries have done this overseas, and it does mean, like we're seeing in New Zealand, it means a tax on cows, um, or it means destocking. We saw a protest in Europe where right. farmers were told to destock to meet these methane pledges. So, look, yeah. this is a barbecue stopper, literally, um, and I think we should be very concerned yeah, about it. It's just a goal, though. It's not a target. Is it really a barbecue stopper? Is it really a tax? Well, it has been in other countries. And, you know, what we've seen, if you, once you sign the pledge, then, you know, in six months' time or 12 months' time, you're going to say, oh, well, because we've signed this pledge, we now need to do this. The industry on its own are doing good things. You know, as we said, with certain types of feed, they are lowering methane anyway. They have also have their carbon emission reduction targets, which we think they will meet, which is a good thing. But racing ahead, like we see with renewables, their 80% target on renewables by 2030, the new government, puts a lot of pressure on the system. Their weather reliance those type of renewable technologies at the moment. Methane, we haven't got the technology at the moment to get there. So when you start signing pledges or doing legislation that you're going to meet these targets, you put a lot of pressure on the system. And in this case, we think literally could be a barbecue stop. Ke Kevin, we'll leave it there. Appreciate it. We'll talk to you next week.